Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. The F-15 by DC Designs and the F-16 by SC Designs have been updated. Uh, the F-15 to 1.5.0 and the F-16 to version 1.0.2. And I decided to check out whether they can still go to insane heights and speeds. Because last time I flew them, we basically could max out the sim with them. Uh, we could go to the maximum speed and maximum height, at least with the F-15, I certainly did. So that was weird. I thought maybe it was just a problem with me and my uh, sim. Uh, maybe I had some bug or something. But others also reported having the same thing happen. So, yeah. Uh, I have decided that we are going to uh, fly down the Nile here because... Well, if it's still happening, I feel like they're in a state of denial <laughs> about it. But uh, anyway, uh, let's try the F-15, the F-15C out with the stock livery. No, not I don't have any mods related to it except for some liveries and we're not using that livery. So, uh, yeah, let us see how it goes. They have made some improvements. I did look at the change log. Uh, nothing in the change log specifically addressed this particular issue though they did say flight model revised but the things that they revised were not what i was looking for so we will see okay so this is what the f-15 looks like right now and uh, they made some lighting improvements to the interior among other things it is looking very spiffy in here uh, they've made constant improvements so i'll give them that uh, this is just a sort of technical issue that we are addressing this time. I mean, it looks great. Now it looks great uh, for a fighter in flight sim. So we will proceed. Okay, up we go. Not even bothering with afterburner yet. Well, we want to go towards denial. Okay, I've engaged afterburner and we are past Mach 1. A little bit low, but... Mach effect are in action. Okay, there is in fact a denial. Not the best way to sightsee along it. Okay, well, we should probably break Mach 2 here at 55,000. That, at least, it ought to be able to do. Don't know about the HUD getting out of alignment. Don't know why that happens. I don't have head tracking on or anything. I've just kept it in the center view the whole time. Oh uh, yeah, I I don't think this is gonna <laughs> this is not gonna end well for this plane. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna go right past where it's supposed to. I can tell already where we ought to. Now, of course, you know military numbers are not necessarily to be believed. Continuing along the Nile here, uh, we are at Mach 2.6, 78,000 feet almost. The problem is we've got too much indicated airspeed. It's not going to stall out. We can keep on going up indefinitely, and the engine is not losing performance, basically. And it's not hard to stop it from doing this. Um, I have configured engines, uh, not, not in flight sim, but in... Kerbal Space Program to make sure that they do not overperform like this, specifically. In fact, recent videos with jets, ramjets, and scramjets. Uh, this is promising to potentially outpace all of them. <laughs> but uh, we're at 80,000 feet and continuing, so it hasn't been fixed. Um, I, I don't know what the logic is, but. Well, I think I'm satisfied with bringing it beyond SR-71 numbers here. Uh, Mach 3.16, 97,000 feet. Uh, SR-71 probably could get 
pa faster than this, but it, it wouldn't be easy. Well, a curious thing is happening here. My vertical speed indicator is positive and going up. My altitude is going down. Ah, uh, yeah, our altitude is not that. That that's on the HUD. It's a lie. We are at 151,000, 152,000. Our range is gonna be remarkable because of the low fuel consumption at this altitude. I think 154,000 is plenty. Let's uh, accelerate here. I think that's demonstrated the point well enough. I mean, we're at uh, Mach 2.7 and increasing and our vertical speed is positive. There's no particular reason to believe that anything will stop us from maxing out the speed limit of the sim here at 155,000 feet. <laughs> So, yeah, I think I'll switch to the F-16. We are already in Sudan. Um, we've probably got the fuel, because uh, the fuel consumption isn't very high at this altitude. Uh, still got 5,100 pounds internal. I only half-fueled it, in fact. Uh, that's how confident I was that this problem would persist. I didn't think we needed all the fuel to make it happen. Okay, here we go, and uh, this is a modified livery, so this is a mod livery this time, though it shouldn't make any difference, because the liveries do not change anything fundamental about the planes. Uh, and we will see whether this one does anything strange or not. It's got G limit on there. Yeah, I don't know the reason for the G limit warning here. Just note, I uh, got the plane from the Just Flight website. So, from the publishers themselves, not from the marketplace. And that's true of both planes. And so I got the update from the Just Flight website directly. And I also let the installer uninstall the original copy of it in the community folder. Which it does regularly. Well, we are past Mach 1. Mach 1. Uh, 1.4 and climbing at 32,000 feet. So if it is some problem with my install, please do tell me. If uh, you get the same results in your install, still tell me. Uh, I don't know why this should be. It shouldn't be hard to get it right considering every other plane seems to do it just fine. Including the DC Designs Concorde. So, yeah. I don't know what's up with these. Maybe it's a feature. Maybe it's an intended feature that it, should, that it overperforms. But, it makes me feel weird about flying them. I'll probably still use them in the Around the World in 80 Plane series, but I feel weird about it. The HUD displacement thing is also strange. And just a uh, note in case people were wondering, flight model is modern. And that's it. Uh, anything else? No developer mode. No VR thing. Uh, Use NAN OVG for XML gauges is on for some reason. I don't know about that, but anyway, that's the only experimental thing. I suppose something had turned that on. Well, it seems to be indicating an overspeed situation on the tape there. At least I think that's what the little squares are, but... Uh yeah, we're at 68,000 and we're not going to be slowing down. We're not going to speed up, like, really fast or anything. But we're going to keep going. Now very high over Cairo here. Well, here we are approaching 100,000 feet. You sort of saw this coming, didn't you? And, uh, yep, there we are. Vertical speed going up. And Mach number going down. This is sort of a scratchy sound. 
but Mach three point uh, two point three four right now. Uh, if we leveled off, it'd be better. Let me just level off a little bit. We can probably have it going up and accelerating without any trouble. Okay, yeah, um, the the indicator on the HUD is no longer going up more than 105,000, but the altitude we have here on the map app here is doing the right thing. And we are accelerating Mach 2.4 right there and continuing. Though it's not as powerful as the F-15, of course. So I guess that's right-ish, kind of. Yeah, the, the HUD is just not where it needs to be anymore. If I zoom in all the way, maybe, but I don't know what it is with the HUD floating. Definitely, if you don't have this problem, tell me. Uh, I mean, I would like to know. Maybe there's not going to be a fix because most people do not have this problem. We're at 112,000 feet. And we are at Mach 2. Point, uh, almost Mach. Oh, 2.6. 2.6. 2.6 6 only. The tape on the side there uh, maxes out 105,000 for some reason. But you can see the radar altitude uh, is actually tracking with the altitude we see in the FSPM VRF, VFR map. I think I'll turn the fly-by wire off. I don't think it's doing a particularly good job right now. This side panel still seems like it needs some visual work. Okay. We are going up. It's actually 116,000 feet. We're at Mach 3, 3.06. Um, it takes a little bit more coaxing with the F-16 than with the F-15, but we can keep going up and keep going faster. Uh, I've taken off the fly-by-wire because it wasn't exactly holding it the way I wanted it to, but as long as we keep it gradual, it'll keep going up uh, until, of course, we run out of fuel, which will be... will take a while. It'll take a while. But, yep. Well, clearly it's overperforming. 118,000 feet and Mach 3 is uh, more than a little plucky F-16 ought to be doing. But, yep. Uh, well, tell me what you know if you have the planes. And uh, I'm just mostly interested in whether this is going to... It, it's just me or whether it's going to get fixed. I thought initially maybe it was because there was a flight model update pending with the previous sim update that maybe that was the reason, but clearly that was not the reason. So, uh, I would like these planes to do what they're supposed to do, and given the fact that these planes have been updated since the last sim update, uh, it doesn't look like the developers think there's a problem here, so I'm confused. Let me just leave it at that, and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.